Welcome back. Growing a colorful garden isn't as hard as it may sound. And as meteorologist Jeff Ray explains, that pop is a welcome invitation to butterflies. A garden full of flowers is a garden full of color and food for everyone's favorite pollinators. If you want to know what to plant to attract butterflies to your yard, walk the Monarch Way Station at the Common Ground Community Garden in North Richland Hills. So the Master Gardeners put this in for as a project when you, a couple of years ago. Many of these flowers in the butterfly garden are easy to grow. Well, this blue mist flower is very successful and comes back every year and you don't really have to do anything to it. It doesn't need a whole lot of water. Another easy flower to grow? This native purple cone flower, an echinacea, is something butterflies love. Pinch off spent blooms through the summer and they keep blooming all season long. Do you have a corner of your yard to fill? It's a vitex, a sometimes vitex. known as the Texas lilac, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a lilac, right? No. Pollinators love vitex and its summer blooms. Just make sure you have the space for this mid-sized tree. The tree is so tough it is often planted in road medians. Native milkweed is a must-have in butterfly gardens. An attractive version is butterfly weed. It blooms across the summer and provides a nesting site for monarch butterflies in the fall. Pollinators love sunflowers and sunflowers love Texas summer heat. And then the birds will eat the seeds. And Other great summer flowers, zinnias, cosmos, pentas. They can handle the heat, but they will need water. You'll love the color. So will they. I'm Jeff Ray. And this is how a garden grows. And you know what? A lot of us are just sitting around right now uh, on our spare time, really nowhere to go. So this is the perfect time to pick up gardening and follow some of Jeff's tips if you would like.